There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this gargantuan clash, but now we need talk about it no more and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle no matter who you support. Two high-level sides ready to go at it. It's Benfica. They face Porto, and the action comes your way next on EA TV Live. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason, it's Benfica facing Porto. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Well, beaten easily here. And he takes it on. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And fired over by Angel Di Maria. It might still be problematic. Real chance. Still could be dangerous. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, he certainly is a wily customer, whatever way you look at it. Angel Di Maria. Stewart, what might we anticipate seeing from him? Well, we know he's a top-class player, but at set plays, that's where he's at his very best. And he's got so many techniques. He can hit through the back of the ball, he can wrap his foot round it, or just chip it over the wall. He'll certainly score goals if given the chance to go. Steven Eustachia. Committed challenge. Galeno. Can he finish? Able to get his body in the way. A smart stop here. Could be. Just can't get it past them. Well, the last touch came off the defender, so a corner now. Let's see about the delivery. But it just petered out. Determined defending. Dragoish unable to hang on to the ball. And players waiting in the centre. Joao Mario. Might take the lead. Great defending. Porto have given it away. It'll be a Benfica ball. Frederick Aursnes. Oh, great attacking play. Cuts it back. Oh, yes! 1-0 it is! And it doesn't come as a huge surprise! Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Now back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Marcano. Using space on the opposite flank now. They've lost possession, Benfica. He continues his run. Big chance. And able to get a body in the way.
Short corner taken. Wendell. Chance for the leveller. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Antonio Silva. Frederick Alsnes. Surely it's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, two on one, the keeper has no chance here, as you can see. It's a well-taken goal in the end. Marcano. Pepe. Mario. And options in the centre. Well, nowhere close to the goal when all was said and done. Well, from that sort of position, you should really be testing the goalkeeper. Has to hit the target. It's not a good attempt. A real struggle to contain him. Now, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Plenty of support here. And a throw in for Porto. And Varela with it. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. Oh, and the flag goes up. Well, he needs to be more aware there. He didn't work hard enough to stay on side. Steven Eustachio. Might be able to set up the chance. Magnificent defending. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. And back to Trubin. Aursnes. Rafa here. Benfica losing possession here. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. That is that for the first half here. And we're focusing on him for a reason, Stuart. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders. Well, his skill level to go past defenders and get shots away has been excellent today. The only surprise, he's just got the one goal. So back underway here into the second half. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Struggling to hold on to the ball. 
and continues his run. Spot on with that tackle. Now perhaps they can counter from here. Well, it broke down, alas. And the danger cleared. Might be a chance here. In position. It's gone in. And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Marcana. Porto have given it away. Rafa. Cuts in from the flank. Good looking move. Still possibilities. Right over for now, it seems. Wendell. Good visualization and execution. But how well he did to react in that manner. Thirty minutes left for play. Cutting infield here. Blocked by Otamendi. And keeping it out. Flag raised for offside. Mario. What a shocking pass, really. It's an effective run from Di Maria. just the tackle that was needed Paremi Otamendi getting in the way Bar and passing it through Oh, that's a solid piece of defending when it looked as though it might go wrong for them. He needs to clear it here. And in the perfect position to read it. Saw the situation developing. Now making considerable progress with the ball. Wendell. Oh, surely. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? David Neres. Good work from Porto to win it back. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Takes the shot. The crossbar got in the way. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Well, that really needed to go in, didn't it? Sums up their day, really. It's just not quite happened for them here.
High quality defending. Plenty of support here. But they took care of the situation defensively. Aursnes. David Neves. Well, a bit more on the way of precision was required. Steven Eustachio. Porto have given it away. And continues his run. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. The final whistle then. And that is that. Relegation staved off. They'll remain in this division next season, Stuart. Well, what a time to play like that. Huge relief for everybody involved. It's been a difficult season, but they've just about survived. Well, as is often the case, Angel Di Maria was a real handful for opponents. Interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. is for real the tactics and squad strengths have been analyzed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree a confrontation that all football lovers will revel in knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion who will come out on top it's benfica they face tottenham hotspur and the action comes your way next on ea tv Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Benfica up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Oh, chance perhaps. Oh, good save. High pressing and good high pressing. Good-looking run. Can he put them in front? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And he did what he had to do defensively. Really good challenge. Frederik Aursnes. This with David Neres. Benfica have lost it and does well to keep it in play. A really good pass. Is it going to be? Oh, good work by the keeper. And 
fired over by Angel Di Maria. Appear to be in two minds. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, it clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw in. Aursnes. And caught with ease, no real threat from the cross. A good vision there. Crossing possibilities. Will he find the net? And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, here it is again. And the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. Oh, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Alexander Barr. Barr. Di Maria now. Joao Mario. Perfect tackle. Rafa. Nicely timed tackle. And support available. Neres. Given away by Tottenham. Frederick Aursnes. It needs an accurate cross. They need to get tighter, but quick thinking defensively. Son. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. He's driven in the corner. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Individual brilliance. Really good interception. Madison. Great defending. And a Spurs corner as they chase this game. And clearing his lines. Well, too much elevation in terms of the shot. Well, good effective pressure. Could be threatening, but ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Really annoying for them. Couldn't take advantage. It is a decent-looking attack here. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. Florentino. distribution decided to come in from the flank and let's give credit to the defending Son Johnson now racing past his man but a good piece of tidying up if you're wondering about stoppage time one minute to be added on an effective run from Di Maria feeding it through it's still alive well they can bring it out now 
that is that for the first half here And away they go again. What to do for Spurs in this second half? Frederik Aursnes. Distributing it well. Rafa. Must be. Keeper did his job to begin with. Managed to get it out of there. Struggle to keep the ball for Spurs. Ba. On the ball, Florentino. Benfica couldn't keep the ball. Able to get a body in the way. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. Bisuma. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And Son! Oh, good save. Alexander Bath. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. David Neres. Well, they might be able to launch a counter attack. And he's made the run. And a fierce effort, but not accurate enough. Well, as you said, he went for power, but he's just off target. A bit unlucky, really. Well, he's given it away. So a half an hour remaining. David Neres. Rafa. Well, nicely cut out. Good ball over the top. Well, he couldn't get the header on the target, but you've got to give credit to the defending. Taken away from Son. Frederik Aursnes. It's with David Neres. Di Maria. A oh, good vision there. Now Spurs with the ball again. Richarlison. Now Son. Oh, to level the match. And a goal here for Tottenham, who have evened things up. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Beautiful pass. And winning it back. 
Rafa. Can he put them in front? Well, an opportunity. here for them to get their noses in front from the corner time for the change now well just listen to these fans they're urging their team to score here and take the lead well he stumped it out of there without much fuss and he takes it away Son Neves in a decent position now promising attack this well it came to nothing in the end and that's gone out of play for a Benfica throw Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. Is it going to be? Still could be dangerous. Pressing high up has its advantages. And danger still. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Spurs unable to retain possession. Di Maria. Rafa. Real chance. And it was a magical save it was. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Rafa. Element of risk. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. And into the book he goes too. Well, once he gave the penalty, he was always going to give him a yellow card. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Pat Matar Saar. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Frederick Aursnes. Rafa. And the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. Well, I think it's fair to say a fine display by Angel Maria in this match. Interested to know what you made of him.
Well, he's the match winner, and deservedly so. He was outstanding today. He's great to watch when he's in this sort of form.